Whenever I'm teaching, there's always some personal application to what I'm saying to everybody else. And sometimes that personal application resonates so strong. Last week, I was teaching on pride and I got to spend the entire week thinking about the message, but also thinking about, did I have pride in my life? And I'd see these scenarios play out where it was obvious I had some issues of pride. And if you know me, you might say, Gary, that's obvious. We, we know you, we see, we've seen that before in you. But the funny thing about pride is that it's really easy to see in everybody else. It's hard to see in ourselves. As a matter of fact, if you ask everybody to raise their hand, if you have an issue of pride, nobody raises their hand, which is kind of prideful, isn't it? And so I want to encourage you today to think about the verse from James 4, 6. It says, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. And you and I can, can, can stand in our pride and thinking that we know everything and people ought to do things the way uh, we do it. They ought to think the way that we think, that we've got the market cornered on truth. Or we can be like Jesus who was truth. And he was humble. And he was a servant. And he loved people. God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. See his grace this week through your humility. Stay humble.